Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching the Neo Limix Introduction Pack. We're on Basic Training 1, number 17. I think we've got five levels left of Basic Training 1, including this one, which is Airdrop Incoming. That's more of a Worms thing than a Lemmings thing. Wasn't Worms going to be a clone of Lemmings originally before they decided to go their another way with it? I think it was. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure... Worms was originally going to be a Living's knockoff. This is a very rainbowy level. It's very rainbow road. Uh, that's where you go when you die, so I hear. 20 Living's got to save 20, and let's do it. Walkers can be assigned to Shimmiers to make them stop immediately and cause the Living to fall down. This can be used to reach places which they would otherwise just shimmy over. In combination with floaters or gliders, this can be quite a powerful combination to access new parts of the map. Try it out yourself. I sure will. Let's see what happens here. Single screen level we got here. What happens? So we have three of everything. What we're gonna be doing is probably just sending one climber up over. Okay, there are buttons here. Okay, so, all right, I get it. I gotcha. So we're gonna press the two buttons. So we're going to send, that's a walker. <laughs> probably don't wanna waste those. Seems like a valuable resource. Okay, so you climb the wall and then we're gonna have you shimmy what that was too far getting a little crazy with it there we go all right and then a walker to drop onto the button all right do we have any jumpers that would be nice but we don't so you're just gonna fall okay that's not a fatal fall i didn't think it was uh this one definitely is this one not so much so let's see you're getting your way to the wall there all right one more now all we got to do is let's see uh, here we go. And then drop onto the button. Okay, so now what we want to do is... We gotta save everybody. So I think probably the best way to handle this... Would be to... Maybe we should have done it first. Maybe we don't want to hit the button first. This is not splat height, so I'm actually gonna draw him up off of it and we're gonna get our solution in order here because we have one more shimmy or walker pair to do this with so i think i'd rather do that for the time being uh let's go ahead and make it let's make it here all right you dip into here there we go and then build a no we can just have him go straight out it's fine so they can build up into the exit all right, starting from about maybe a little farther back than that. Three builders. Yeah, let's just make sure we have it. Let's use everything at our disposal to do... I, I thought he was building over nothing for a second. That is a dark bridge color. Not entirely certain about that. Okay, so... All right. Then you go here, and then one more. So we're going to go ahead and shimmy you all the way across the ceiling so there it is and then bop into here very good everybody gets done so they're all just kind of milling about for now but that's okay we want this one this will probably put him a little too far ahead of the button yeah i was gonna say so we'll just pull him back there we go and then they can start dropping into the exit there we go all right oh wait oops there we go all right and then now when he glides let's see he's gonna go up the wall and i can probably make him glide in a way okay so he does this and then i can get him on top of the triangle okay and then okay he just kind of kind of butts around it very nice okay i think that makes him permanent so Let's go ahead and one more. He's definitely going to be the straggler. And then same deal there. And he gets through free. All right. Very good. That wasn't too hard a level. Just making our way around. Shimmy and dropping. Shimmy and dropping. It's very nice. Well, that was that was about the time it takes to do one lap of the Rainbow Road. Seems like. So makes a lot of sense that that would be a Rainbow Tile set. In my crazy mixed up head anyway. Fly Traps. 20 lemmings, once again, must save them all. But it looks like they're pretty well protected from the start. 
So it looks like we've got some time to figure this out. What have we got? This is a trap. That's fire. Okay, that is technically fire. This is a... And is this all... Okay, just this one is steel. Okay, so it's a little hard to tell steel, but steel has a dark gray border. So what are we going to do then? We're going to go ahead and probably... Um... All right. We've got platformers. Walkers, shimmiers, and climbers. So same deal as the last level, just a little less explanation. We've got a basher, one basher, one miner. The miner is going to go here, I'm sure, to get them up into there. Platformer here, and then bash. So I just have to get one guy around, basically. And it looks like there are plenty of one pixel inclines. That's going to be pretty easy to do, it seems like. So we're going to go back over the reverse side here. No glider until until Brooklyn. So, okay, that is safe. So we're going to do that. There you go. And then you're going to shimmy your way over. Just one shimmier. Okay, so we're going to want to drop. We have two walkers. We're going to want to drop at a point. Yeah, this one's pretty easy. We're going to drop at a point where he can go from essentially here to here and then two walkers so turn him around at the exit mine platform bash easy level easy 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 okay there we go so let's speed it along here we're gonna want to start dropping maybe when do we want to drop when's the best time right at the peak here so what will that do here okay so we kind of okay so you don't get the you don't get the picture of where he's gonna drop to until you actually assign it. Kind of odd, but okay. Okay, not high enough, so let's back it up a frame. Keep going. Maybe from about here? No. Um He might climb up onto the edge. Let's see if he climbs up onto the edge. You can kind of grab edges sometimes. Oh, okay. It worked. That's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> well, that was pretty simple then. So we want to turn around, mine out a little farther up, it would seem. Yeah, that's perfect. And boop. And then once we get the platformer done, he should turn around, hit the wall, and the basher should get the rest of them out. That was a, that was quite a simple level, actually. So let's, as soon as he turns around, let's have someone, let's have someone free the Free the comrades. There we go. Boom. Perfect. All right. Easy level. I see we're going with the Namita tile sets today. Uh, these are these are mostly Namita creations we've seen in recent levels. Oh, I skipped past the very last one. I usually like to let the last one go in on camera, but looks like I just skipped over everybody in my excitement to get to the next level, whatever, whatever that is. It's going to be a stretch. It's a stretch. Five lemmings, must say five. Uh, let's see, let's let's stretch. It's always important to stretch before you do sports. You can stretch out builders and platformers to make them reach further. Of course, oldest trick in the book. After a lemming has finished building, wait after wait for after, he shrugs. Let him walk a few frames. Right before he falls off the bridge, assign the next skill, and you will see that you stretch the bridge out by a few pixels. In this level, you will see that these pixels can matter. Also, beware of the balls here. Bashing under them should be enough to get past them. Well, they just straight out tell you how to beat certain parts of this level. That's uh, that's wild. Okay, so we go here. What happens then? One lemming is going to get past. Let's see. So we're going to we're getting to the flag here. All right. What are we doing? What are we doing? Four platformers. All right. So. This might be what we are doing. One, one, two, three? Or one, two, what's the combo here? Are we just going across? They said bashing through the balls would be enough. So maybe all we need to do is just one, two, three, four, and that gets us to, or one. What is the combination of things here? Uh, all right. So we want back up just a little bit. Okay, so he's going to bash through there if we do that. So we have four lemmings. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and make them floaters for the time being. I don't know, I think we wanna may have the one who goes last do the work. Okay, there you go. Whoa, no, we don't wanna get set on fire by a tennis ball. Very common hazard when playing tennis. I believe that's what they call tennis elbow. That's a rather fatal case of that, actually. Okay, so let's see. What happens? You are a floater now. Okay. All right, so we have one, two, three. Okay, so what? Ah, no. You you go back and you have to kind of save yourself. So one. Okay, yeah, it's going to take two platformers did across there. And then it looks like maybe one, two, three bridges. Yeah, okay, so one of them is going to turn around. One of them is going to turn around and bash through here so that they can get back up to the top. Okay, they're floaters. One guy does the work. Okay, I see. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, they they won't... Okay, that won't be fatal. Okay. Oh, nope, we don't want that. Okay, yeah, so he's going to need to stretch just a teeny bit. Very good. Okay, so yeah, we bash through the balls, and then they just kind of mill around at the bottom. They can survive just walking around because they float. Or not. Okay. Maybe they should just kind of... Maybe they should just kind of hang back then. Okay, so maybe don't... Where is our... Okay, where is our... Okay, there's that guy. Okay, so we're not going to bash through here yet. Uh, we're going to let him... <laughs> not bash. We're going to let him build the path. So go ahead and do that. Okay. Just as soon as I bash... Bashing will immediately... They can be close to each other and it's fine because they won't go over the hill. Alright, and then one... Yeah, we're going to have to stretch that. Barely works, but barely counts. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo! So, let's... One more, okay. I think we can assign this basher now. Okay, yeah, they just kind of mill around until, until they get done. So, we need now... Three bridges for here, two platformers for here, and one for here. And then I can send them to the exit. Okay. Got it. Okay. So let's start from here. All right. One bopsy. And then, oops, didn't mean to back up a frame. There we go. And, okay, yeah, just a little bit of stretching does it. There we go. They bop up onto there. And then this should be another two. <laughs> Awfully scary, but I think it works. Ooh, ooh. Too soon, too soon. Okay. So, yeah, there you go. Three. And we can probably get somebody going at this point. Okay, is he going to fall before I bash? Do I... Yeah, I handled that in the wrong order. So, wait, 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 wait. Build to here. That one isn't much of a stretch, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, now everybody is saved. There we go. Well, that's certainly no take up archery, but... Still a bit of a scary one. Uh, you just gotta trust the trust the pixels. That's all it takes. So let's go. Let's skip way ahead here. There we go. There's the last couple. A birdie for you, and a birdie for you. Very nice. Very nice. Handicapped golf scores all around for everybody. A pat on the back. Penultimate level of. Basic training one is going to be delaying the inevitable. 40 lemmings. Must save all of them. That's becoming a trend. I see. So, uh, yeah, long level, but any, any advice? Sometimes the crowd cannot be contained in a safe location. You need to either distract them or reroute them onto a longer path. A possible distraction could be skills that temporarily hold them back, like little basher, minor, or digger tunnels. The following level will require several of these distractions. Oh boy, that's not nerve-wracking at all. Okay, so I can see, first of all, we're gonna be going this way with this. Let's bash from a little bit back. That'll give us a few more pixels to work with. And so let's see. I like the little <laughs> like the little jiggly spikes there. They look a little syringy though, which is which is uh <laughs> okay, so let's do a perfect build. We want perfect, perfect, perfect builds. So let's see. As a matter of fact, 
How many builders is it going to take to get to the end of the level? We could just hold them back here, maybe. What, what do the clear physics look like? It's all good. Okay. So. Okay, we could conceivably hold everyone back. I don't think it's going to... It's going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Okay, I think it's going to take the rest of our builders, actually. Uh, a nice thought, but probably... Okay. Uh, this is going to be a digger thing. Okay, if I go here, they're going to walk over that. I'm going to go ahead and just have them mine at a spot... Is this a safe drop? I assume it is. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go from... We're gonna go from wherever gets this open right at the base here. Uh, it almost looks like you can just hold them in, but I don't think you can. I think we're gonna need exactly seven builders to finish this off. Okay, there we go. Let's back it up even more than that a little. Okay, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so you drop there. Yeah, you have... Mining is really slow. So we should have some good uh, building time here. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, let's just get him building as soon as possible. Okay, yeah. He held him off successfully. Couple turn around in the miner tunnel, which is great. Okay. So now... Okay, just one is ahead here. That's great. We're going to have him dig through this very thin bit right here that should be a perfect amount that's a really long walk right there doesn't look like it but it should be enough to i want to see how many builders this takes because this might be a little uh breakable i would say not breakable really but maybe a little easier than intended i would call it okay so let's go three we have three builders left they're about halfway done at that point Okay, and... Nope, it's just a couple pixels shy. You need every builder. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Uh, that would make it a little easier than intended if you were able to just end the miner tunnel and have them mill around in this area. That would be too easy. So this at least puts a little bit of pressure on. But that level wasn't as... My heart didn't seize up as much as I thought it was gonna. We'll put it that way. So let's just go ahead and get everybody in there. We've got one more level of basic training and then it's on to basic training two, uh, where I'm sure we're gonna learn some, some even nastier tricks though. We've been shown a lot of the basics so far. Um, I imagine there's probably more to learn and then I think advanced training may put us fully on our own. Uh, that's just a guess though, based on uh, how it's kind of gone so far. Let's take a look at that last level. What is it? Chalk Walk. I love this tile set so much. I wanted to use it for one of my contest levels, but I ended up not. I This this tile set is absolutely adorable. 50 Lemmings got to save 42, uh, which makes me think uh, there are going to be eight specific Lemming deaths here. Uh, we'll see, though. It may be a battle of attrition. More crowd delaying training. It's a very important skill to have. Trust me. This time... Use blockers to delay and reroute the crowd onto a longer path. You also need to resort to some builder stretching here again to reach the exit. Stretching can be the deciding factor to solve a level, so keep it in mind. Yes, I will. But if that's all we're doing, then I think this is a pretty easy wrap-up to the day. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and go. <laughs> oh, gosh. I hadn't actually seen the title set in action. That is absolutely adorable. So we're going to get this going at the last possible second. And you, I think, yeah, they're separated just enough that we can, okay, yeah. So if all it is is builder stretching and blocker going and doing, this should be pretty simple. Okay. All we're going to be killing is the blockers. So, and let's just stretch. Stretching builders is just basically good best practice. So, probably we'll just do that a lot, even if we don't need to. Let's go ahead and trap right there. Okay, there we go. All right, and then they're going to walk up the way here. We should delay this as long as we possibly can. That is some spectacular water animation down there. That is, I could have gone one more pixel with that. I hope that doesn't, hope that doesn't, uh, 
screw me or anything. Okay, so that's still that's still not a great path right there. So that's too that's too soon. Uh, we may need to do we need to build over it actually. That's okay. Okay, we may have actually come back. I think that's too soon for that. So do we want to at the end kind of build over it? We have infinite time, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that builder a little, s or blocker. I'm gonna put that blocker a little sooner so we have more paths to, yeah, we have more of a path to go along here. Okay, put you right here. All right, so let's, we can concentrate on you again for a while. Very nice. Okay. All right, we are gonna be star pupils today. I can feel it. That's a very cute little chocolate drawing of a lemmy. Okay, that's a little too far back. Actually, no, that was about perfect, so never mind. Let's go ahead and let it go that far again. Right there. Okay. I'm going to wait for the ticks this time. Need to concentrate on these folks for a bit. There we go. Okay, he's shrugging. All right. The highlighter might have been useful here, but you know what? I'm not that worried about it. Okay, two... Okay, I think we put our blocker too far down right here. Because they're going to need to come down this way. I'm seeing two, one, two. Okay, yeah, I need to back it up. I put put this first blocker too early. Let's go ahead. I love how that gets drawn into place at the start. That is spectacular. I love that. And the, and the animation on the water, just all of it is fabulous. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get this going then. Uh, all the way back it up all the way to the to the hangman's noose okay and let's make sure our bridges all stretch out appropriately very last pixel as needed there we go all right and then under here again we're gonna have to be very careful with where we set our blockers it's not just a willy-nilly kind of proposition we want to do it the absolute last moment we can okay like right here there we go and then probably at the edge here. But I think he's going to, yeah, we need to pay some attention to the builder momentarily. And then we can come back to this. We'll stay over here for just a second. This is going to be a bit of a walk. Here we go. All right. There we go. Perfect. And then over to here where we'll do it in front of the hangman's noose again. Just like we did last summer. There we go perfection this is going really well so we want to this is going to be a bit of a it's going to be a bit of a close shave <laughs> but we're going to be fine and then boop boop and that should send them exit bound very good okay we don't need to be stretching from this point really but okay i think we're i think we're most of -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ooh, that's a little close for comfort right there if i don't mind saying all right beep and beep Okay, he's got a little bit of a way to walk here. So we can set that last blocker. No, too far, too far. You, you just want to just wanna be right up against the flames, not actually in them. Playing with fire is very dangerous. So yes, eight very specific deaths, as I suspected. All right, here we go. And they go to the exit. Need to get me some of that animated chalk. That's a... Uh, some of that chalk zone business that's a that's the that's the primo stuff right there i bet it's really expensive to get chalk that animates itself uh you know someday it'll happen someday someday we'll have blackboards that well we probably already do we probably already have blackboards that you can just animate on and because you know technology am i right it's crazy but let's go ahead Erase the blackboard for the next class, and then, yeah, let's get this off of there. That's going to take a little bit more elbow grease to get them off of there. <laughs> I haven't seen a good old-fashioned nuke in a while, but there it is. We did it. We have completed basic training. So, up next, we've got basic training 2, probably going to show us a little bit more advanced tomfoolery and chicanery and all manner of trickery. But that is it. Uh, see you guys next time for basic training part 2.